So, back again for another episode of Revlon Collection. Woo! And remember, it's the final one. Again, crap-ass nails, because watch my previous video and you'll know why. Again, my boo-boo finger, so don't mind it. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, first one is a color that I love and hate. Not necessarily this specific color but the color itself <laughs> yellow it's yellow i have a love-hate relationship with yellow let's not make it confusing jen huh okay so this is and i can't get comfortable and i hate it sunshine sparkle and i really basically keep this because it reminds me of a my little pony name sunshine sparkle and it's kind of like blue lagoon but yellow with those same glass flecky shimmers in and let's see if i can get my ass friggin okay guys let me tell you something too i'm gonna go on to my clear jelly stamper these things are amazing guys mine's not cleaned these are amazing like do you see do you see how fucking cool is that right and this is a lot more this is turning into something that it's not this is a lot more squishy than the original. But let me tell you what this stupid idiot here did. It comes in this nice clear holder now, okay? Whereas before it came in like a purple one and then a frosted clear one. And then they thought they were cute and they came out with all colors and stuff. Clear is the best. comes with a cute little cap. However, if your mat is wet with acetone, be careful. Because I put it down like this to do a stamp. And I guess I had acetone on my mat. And now it's frosted. So I ordered a couple more. I also ordered some of those um, Galaxy ones from Creative Shop. Super excited for them. Because I think they're just the bee's knees. <laughs> so I will see. Anyway, here is Sunshine Sparkle. go from blue lagoon down okay so one coat of sunshine sparkle for yellow it has a good formula it's not too streaky not too patchy it does need two coats but you know I that's a given I believe so I hauled this one a while ago <laughs> Um, this is Royal Cloak, and it's that dusty royal purple. Now, when I hear the word royal, I think of this color, so that's perfect. And it has, like, these flakies in it. I don't know when it came out. Um, you can find it on Amazon. That's where I purchased this one from. So let's go ahead and give it a swatch. Although I'm sure I swatched it in my haul, but we are going to go ahead and do it again. Now, the only thing that's bothersome on this one to me is the brush. For some reason, the brush seems thinner than others. I don't know if that was... If I just got a mistake, a lot. But let's compare it to Sunshine Sparkles brush. Yeah, it's much thinner. Can you see that? Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't look it. I don't know. Maybe there's just not an, a lot of brushes. Or... Oh, shit. Low-flying aeroplane. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. 
wild is this green um no it's kind of like a mossy green like between a sea foam and a moss and it's got these larger green glitters in there kind of flashes a little purple you can see the purple right there on the bottom you could definitely see the purple shimmer on the brush well let's see if purple shimmer shows on the swatch there is one coat of wild Fucking airplane made me friggin' feel like we were being invaded. <laughs> You're not supposed to be flying that low. I do have an airport not too far um, from where I live. It's only a municipal airport. <clears throat> Sometimes jets and stuff come in. A lot of helicopters and stuff take off there. Army copters and stuff, but shit. That guy was low. Too low before landing. Next, I have Untamed. And this is this beautiful, flaky, and it looks like there's, I guess there, are they flakes in there? Glitters? I don't know. It's kind of duochrome gold here along the sides, and then this beautiful <clears throat> burgundy brown type dilio. <laughs> Don't you just love the words we use to describe nail polishes when we don't know how to describe them? So there is a nice blurry ass photo. Okay, it's pretty dark there in the bottle. Let's go ahead and swatch her. I don't think I had enough on the brush. Usually I'm pretty thick handed. <laughs> Keep thinking about that airplane. Okay, next up again, like artsy and edgy and <clears throat> whatever else I mentioned before. All similars but difference. This is elusive. And this is the green version, except in here, it doesn't look like there's any bar glitters. But it's got different, like, tealy green hexes, and then some metallic green hexes. In the black base. Focus. This one's really dark. Not really gonna... Again, it would benefit over a black base. Uh, my opinion. Because two coats is going to lose that glitter. Good formula, just like the rest of them. <laughs> almost opaque on the first coat. Again, if you used a black base, you'd be done. Next up is Sultry. And this beast is beautiful. It's a blurple with a pinkish shimmer. You can kind of see Okay. You know, and I'm just going to stop when I don't know how to describe a color. I'm just going to stop. Look at all the numminess. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. <clears throat> Let's give it a swatch.
first coat. Beautiful. Little sheer in the first coat, but man, is that freaking fantabulous. Really beautiful. This one here is num 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 extravagant. And it's not. <laughs> it's really not too extravagant. It's mm, a mauvey, pinky, kind of shimmer, metallic type dilio. And that's basically it. So let's give it a swatch. Has a good formula though. Let's see on the way back if it's brush strokey or not. Next. You know, I used to love glitter polishes and then once I started to really get into nail polish even more, I found myself kind of backing away from glitter, and I don't know why. Um, I, I really don't know why. Because now that they have the peel, it used to be because it was a bitch to get off. But now they have the peel off base coats, which makes it super, super, super duper simple. However, I still back away from them. I think my reasoning is because I can't find a top coat that makes it nice. Um, smooths it out real nice. And I've used Jellish, or, yeah, I've used Jellish Clear. I've used Jealous. And, you know, I don't like to put 20 layers of top coat on. So, I don't know. I've just kind of backed away from glitter. I don't want to be backed away from glitter because I do like it. I own quite a bit of it. It catches my eye, as for instance, this one which is radiant and it's this blue green and silver glitter mix I believe it's just in a clear base yeah it's a clear base and it's just a strict glitter so I don't know Okay, so here is whatever the hell I said its name was. Radiant. It's one coat. I don't believe it'll be opaque on its own. And lastly, that filled that wheel up nice. And I have Bohemian. And this is kind of a green, like a tealy green. It's kind of like Sultry. I don't know if it came out in the same collection as Sultry did. But she's beautiful. Okay, one coat of Sultry. Get out of my way. All right. Give me a moment and I will be right back with our second coats. Okay, are we ready to get in closer for our... Those two colors look really pretty together. Let's get closer for our second coats. So this is our second coat of Sunshine Pony Sparkle. It's just Sunshine Sparkle. You could probably find this at um, Big Lots. Because I think this is where I got that from. Actually, in a duo pack. Um, okay, 
Next is Royal Cloak. You get this off of Amazonian. Formula on this one is not the greatest, but it's pretty. Okay, next up is Wild. This is a real pretty color. Dries kind of glossy. Second coat of Wild. With that purple shimmer, it's a very spring-esque color. Um, I'm not sure if you could find this color anymore. I think it was in a limited edition type thing. Um, so I do apologize. Quite a few of these are limited because the core line isn't the greatest. <laughs> Next up, we have Untamed. And those are all kind of like flakies in there. Second coat has a much better formula because I did it a little thicker. Okay. Next up is Elusive. And look at this. Elusive dries matte. So how fucking cool is that? I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. So here is two coats of Elusive. So if you were to put that over a black base coat, it would be matte. Okay. So that's two coats of Elusive. And I'm sorry, this keeps focusing, going in and out. I hate that. Next we have Sultry. I told you I have a heavy, heavy hand with this. Okay, so that is Sultry. Then we have Extravagant, and it's, it's, you know, it dried okay. There's not really too many brush strokes there. Let's give it a second coat. It is pretty much opaque on its first coat. Um, I would still be generous and gentle as far as those lines go because I'm going to just not go straight and you'll see I think it's still going to show some lines. Next is Radiant, which is that green, silver, blue glitter mix. And this is a topper. However, it does look like it's in a slightly blue tinted base, but that might be just all of the blue glitter that's in there. Ow. And last we have Bohemian. Okay. Okay. So we here is Sunshine Sparkle. Here is Royal Cloak. Here is Wild. Those green glitters pop nicely. Here is Untamed. It does dry semi matte. 
um, so you're probably going to want to add a top coat. Here is Elusive, and this does dry matte. Um, so use your top coat or leave as matte. Here is Sultry. Here is, and you can, it does leave those kind of brush strokes a little bit. This is Extravagant. Then we have Radiant. And Bohemian. Okay, guys, that is the end of this one. We've gotten through another wheel. So that is it. I'm probably going to start another collection today, too. Because I have some time. Excuse me, I'm kind of taking a break today. So I thank you all for watching, and I hope that you all have a great day. Bye.